I'm not going to lie, the last few months have been really difficult. You know, when one thing goes wrong and you're like, that's about all I can deal with, and then something else goes wrong, and something else goes wrong, and something else goes wrong, and it's... <sighs> Any one of those things on their own would be enough, but the culmination of all these things together is just completely overwhelming. It's got to the point where I feel like I'm completely at capacity and anything negative that, ha that happens now feels like a big deal. It could be something quite small. But because now my body associates that feeling, that anxious feeling with it being something that's a big deal, it just triggers me straight away. I haven't been sleeping well. I've just been feeling really anxious about the future. You know, am I doing enough? Have I done enough? Am I enough? There's been a lot of stuff happening in my personal life that's been difficult. Insecurities about music and about life and trying to renovate a kitchen and everything, well, a flat and everything going wrong. <laughs> Losing all the music that I've made over the last two years, every film I made over the last two years when my laptop died. It's just, it's been a complete shit show. And I think it's... I'm, I've always been like an eternal optimist and I've quite you know, I've prided myself on my ability to find like the, the good part of things like the silver linings and the reason why things happen and I think that's why I found this period so difficult because there hasn't been I haven't been able to find that silver lining but <laughs> I will say and technically this is a silver lining it's made me realise that I do have people in my life who really care about me. And that's one of the things I was feeling most upset and anxious about. Like, you know, I know what's important in life. It's family, it's friends, it's relationships, it's people. And I was feeling quite alone. Like, I lost a place. I lived for 13 years last year and I had to move to some random city that I've never been to before. There's not a lot of people, not a lot of creative people, not people like me, not a lot of people who I kind of get along with. It's made me feel really isolated, and so I felt really alone. And I just can't, I can't deal with that. I used to be, I used to be an introvert, and I think COVID kind of put an end to that. And now I just feel like I need to be around people all of the time. And so, me being in this, this really sort of down, dark place, I've had to lean on people. And it's really shown me that there are people who care about me and it's meant so much to me. You know, realizing that, that when you need people, that they are there. And it's, it's a very simple thing, but it's one of the most important things. space and time through the infinite black skies looking for my home planet it's crystal clear in my mind
how it feels sometimes Maybe I am Maybe I've been crazy All of my life It's how it feels sometimes This is the first time I played the piano in in weeks. My my flat has been just full of stuff. Had some delays with the kitchen fitting, and and then I haven't been able to like wash or wash my clothes, or I don't have a sink, no washing machine, and it's been like it for weeks. And as a result, I couldn't get to my piano. It's crazy how much that has affected me. And to be honest, these last few years, you know, I haven't been doing as much music as I'd like. I kind of steered away from music. I found a lot of the things in the industry quite difficult, and I got quite jaded, and it just felt like it wasn't about music anymore. And still now I get disheartened. There's people who I really respect in the industry who kind of confirm, you know, my thoughts of like, you know, fame has replaced great. It doesn't really matter what you make anymore, to an extent. It's just can you build an audience? And it's although music has always been for entertainment and it's it, it's to you know it's for people. The emphasis just feels so different now, and it's, and it's trying to figure out like, where do I fit into that? You know, I make music and art that I really care about, and that's kind of where I want it to be. And sometimes something might go viral-ish, other times it won't. But it's it's not about that. It's not about grabbing people's attention in the first five seconds. I don't want to make that kind of art. And so I've been really struggling with that. You know, seeing people around me who were blowing up on social media and kind of feeling like it's my only choice. Like if I want to have a career now, that's what I have to do. And so, yeah, it's just turned me off music a bit, you know. But I really miss it. I, I don't know, I, f I forget that I can sing sometimes, you know, I get so in my head and so insecure about it all and I start worrying about everything and, I, and then I sit down and play and I'm like, oh yeah, that's what it's about, that's what it's always been about. And so now I just want to get this music out more than anything in the world. This is one of the songs I want to release next year. I felt lonely in the crowd Since my first day in the playground I was too young to understand Still haven't worked it out. I keep on telling people I'm not from around here, but they don't know what I mean. I keep on telling people I'm not from around here. They think. How it feels sometimes So maybe I am Maybe I've been crazy All of my life 
That's how it feels sometimes Yeah Lately I've just felt life getting really real You know I've been thinking about death a lot Having a lot of death anxiety Trying to comprehend the feeling of not existing Which is... <laughs> Which is an abyss to fall into. Thinking about all the things I want to do, all the things I haven't done. How much I love life, even when things are difficult. How beautiful it is to, to, to be looking at the ocean or walking in the forest or being on a mountain or being around people that you love. And it's terrifying thinking about it ending. And people say, you know, you should live your, every day like it's your last, but I disagree. Because that's how I feel right now. I feel like I'm living every day as if I'm really mortal and it's all going to end. And it's terrifying. I feel like you should live every day as if you're immortal. You know, if you're, if you're immortal, you would do every day exactly what you wanted to do. Because you feel like I've got all the time in the world. So I'm trying to get back to that space where I appreciate life and I am respectful of time. But I don't let it govern me. I don't feel guilty for worrying about silly things or having days where I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel guilty for taking time out from things I need to do for myself. And also realizing that it is worth planning for the future still. Like it's worth releasing music and making an album because hopefully I will still be around in a year, two years, three years, four years, five years. such an interesting fine line between loving and appreciating life and being terrified of death you know but yeah I just feel really grateful for this moment really grateful to have got to exist in the first place and I hope I get to for a little longer because I have a lot of stuff that I look forward to sharing with you so I hope you're all having a nice time wherever you are whatever you're doing and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love.